This next song that I'm doing a behind the songs for is called I Get It. And uh, this is actually a pretty rare song. Uh, a lot of artists tend to like sit and take a couple hours to write a song. But this song I wrote all by myself, all by my lonesome. Um, and it took about 15 minutes if I'm being honest. Like it was in my head and it was out on a piece of paper. It wasn't even on a paste, but it was on my phone. Like I just typed it all out, picked up a guitar, it went perfectly with the chords I love to play, and boom, a song happened. Uh, basically, this song came from a lot of emotion, a lot of vulnerability. I was so broken when I wrote this song. I was crying. I was in bed for as much as I could be in bed, even though I had to work. I was like, I was in bed. Um, my friend Nisha would bring me mac and cheese. I fucking love mac and cheese. And it was just like a really hard time in that it was the first time I really felt heartbroken and that Cindy I loved was just being trash and it sucked because, you know, you, you love people, okay? It sometimes happens. Um, so this song is literally how I felt when it was happening. Like, I finally got and understood why girls did the things they did when they went through breakups, etc. And I, everything is so real and I feel like people will be able to relate this, you know? Whoever went through a heartbreak, whether you're a girl or a boy, I'm sure we all kind of go through the same motions every once in a while. And I just remember, like, I could not eat. Like, all I could eat was ice cream. And I, I was so sad and everyone's like, oh, he's, you don't even want him though. Like, he's terrible. And it's just like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any of this. I, and then so I wrote this song called I Get It. So if you ever felt this way, I get it. I feel like a lot of people get what you're going through and it sucks and it kicks your ass. Um, but the song was for me and me only. I didn't want to record it. Mark really urged me to. He said this is an amazing song. Um, I wanted my EP to be all happy songs and all funny songs, but he definitely iterated that like, this shit's real and like that's really cool and people are going to relate to this and you should really record it and we did <laughs> and everything you hear like my whole vocal track is pretty much one take we didn't work on perfecting every note we just did it had a little shot of rum got a little emotional and I went through and I cried and um I mean it was a couple years now I, I'm, I'm fine now <laughs> But like, that song has such a heart, in or a part of me, and um, yeah. The production, we didn't know if we wanted to do acoustic or full band because the lyrics are so strong that we weren't sure if we wanted to, you know, cover them with music. But we did, and uh, they killed it. I say this every time, but yeah, they did really well on the production of it. And it was just a sad song. And I hope, like, you guys relate to it. Um, yeah. A lot of crying. A lot of healing. A lot of good stuff. When I first I recorded, like, a little demo on my phone, and I just listened to it and cried. <laughs> I was so broken. Oh, my God. It's so lame, but it's true. You do get broken. Um, so, yeah, that's a little behind the songs of I Get It. I can hear